Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, for us sinners. Of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Amen and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now meditate on the five sorrowful mysteries. The first mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother, Mother of mercy, mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, by your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of her womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God's only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, we entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you. As we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines, O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our works and words in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, that our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. 
Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Today, if, today, if you hear the, the voice, voice of the Lord, Lord harden, harden not, not your hearts. hearts. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Today, if you hear, hear the voice of the Lord, Lord harden not, not your hearts. hearts. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountain as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Today, Today if you hear, hear the voice of the Lord, Lord harden not, not your hearts. hearts. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock, His shepherds. Today, if you hear, hear the voice of the Lord, of the Lord harden, harden not your hearts. As your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Today, Today if you hear, hear the voice of the Lord, Lord harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Today, Today if you hear the voice of the Lord. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Today, Today if you hear the voice of the Lord, of the Lord harden, harden not your hearts. hearts. The man whose deeds are blameless, and whose heart is pure, will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord sees the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set in on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever, because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For he is courteous and then has mercy, he casts down to the depths of the nether world, and he brings up from the great abyss, no one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles, for though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord our God, our Father and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, 
but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven, that all men speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lyre. Sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. For the lo word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded, it sprung into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own design shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all, and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, and those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy, we trust in His holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in You. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant as we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying Your will that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out the journey, by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert, where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah's serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make it Sarah." Make a sarah and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks it, after being bitten, will live. 
Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me. In the day of my distress, incline your ear to me. In the day when I call, answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The nation shall revere your name, O Lord, and let and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has revealed Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come unto you. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those who doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will, not, you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, Is he not getting to kill himself? Is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong in this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own. But I say only what the Father told me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
in the beginning of the Gospel of John, John said that the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and he is referring certainly to Jesus. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and that is through the fiat, the answer of the Blessed Mother. Be done to me according to your word. But we can see here that Jesus is truly human being, living with us, living in this world, and most probably enjoying the world. However, in our gospel this morning, Jesus himself said, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng ating Panginoon? Dalawang mundo ang pinag-usapan dito. Ang unang mundo, where Jesus said that we belong to this world means the world that the Father Himself or God Himself had created. Yung mundo kung saan atin ginagamit ang lahat-lahat na ginawa ng Diyos na i-enjoy natin kung saan tayo nakatira. And this is our world. And this is also the world that Jesus had been born. Ang pangalawang mundo, ano ba itong pangalawang mundo that Jesus denied that He is not of this world? Remember, that yung utak natin ay gumagana. At habang gumagana ang utak natin, gumagawa tayo ng sarili nating mundo. Gumagawa tayo ng sarili nating gawain na galing sa utak ng tao. Ano ba yun? Di ba? Kung minsan makikita natin yung isang tao na ibang-iba ang kanyang ginagawa. Ibang-iba siya sa mga kasamahan niya. At uh, sinasabi natin, may sariling mundo yan. Kayaan mo na lang, may sariling mundo. Yes, our ego created another world that is only for ourselves. To the extent that we do not recognize God anymore. To the extent that we become gods. Para tayo na yung Diyos. Pinabayaan na natin ang ginawa ng Diyos na napakaganda. Gumawa tayo ng sarili nating mundo that self-destructing mundo na iba't iba sa intensyon ng Diyos. Mundo ng tao. Kaya, Anong klaseng mundo? Mundo ng kamunduhan. Kaya ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, You will die in your sin. 
sa mundo na ginawa mo dito, sa mundo ng sarili mo, sa mundo ng iyong kapakanan at hindi kapakanan ng ibang tao, you will die. Ang Diyos mismo, ang Panginoon mismo, ang nagsasabi sa atin. And I think, that is true. Kasi totoo naman talaga lahat ng sinasabi ng Diyos sa atin. Ano nangyayari sa mundo natin ngayon? Dahil marami sa atin ang akala nila sa kanila na yung mundo. So sinisira natin ang original na mundo na ginawa ng Diyos at gumawa tayo ng sarili nating mundo. Gumawa tayo ng sarili nating uh, uh, prinsipyo. Prinsipyo which is against the will of God. Hindi ba? Yung mga batas natin, kapag tingnan natin, batas ba ng Diyos yan? Batas ba ng Diyos sa pwedeng mag-abort? Batas ba ng Diyos na pwedeng same-sex marriage? Batas ba ng Diyos yan? We are creating our own for our very own self-gratification. Yun lang naman eh. Kaya sabi ng ating Panginoon, hindi ako sa mundo na yan dahil hindi ko mundo yan. At dahil gumawa ka ng sarili ng mong mundo, doon ka mamamatay. Because kasalanan yan. And it refers back to our first reading. When the Israelites blaspheme God, when the Israelites desecrated the manna that came the, from heaven, when the Jews disobeyed the commandments of God and created their own world, sarili nilang mundo, sarili nilang belief, God punished them. God sent a seraph serpent to beat them until death. And they realize, mali, nagkamali kami, nagkasala kami, and they approach Moses Please plead to God. Plead to God. Give us back our life. And God instructed Moses. He made a wing seraph serpent and put it on a pole. And whoever beaten by the serpent and look at that standard, he will be healed. He will live. And look, I think we are experiencing the same thing. Because we blaspheme God, we disobey God, we believe on our own very own self. Pinabayaan natin ng Diyos, akala natin, kaya natin ang ating buhay. Hindi na natin siya sinusunod. Nagkamali tayo aminin natin. Nagkasala tayo. Lahat tayo may kasalanan. Aminin natin yan. Bakit? Because we don't obey God anymore. We don't believe in God anymore. Kaya ito, I think this virus is just like a seraph serpent biting us. The thing is that we cannot see. It just come. Can we not? Can we not be like the Jews and ask God for forgiveness? And God sent His only Son in order to save us. Hindi ba pwede na bumalik loob tayo? sa ating Panginoong Isus. I think, panahon na. Let us 
make a good realization to that. Paniwalaan natin ng Diyos. Maniwala tayo ng na may Diyos. Dahil pinakita na mismo ng Diyos, pinadala mismo ng Diyos ang kanyang anak. To be like that seraph serpent that Moses made. He offered himself for our sake. He died on the cross. He was nailed on the cross. Just like that seraph serpent. Place on the fall that anybody who repent, anybody who return to God and look at that crucified Jesus and repent because of his sin will live. Maraming klasing baksin ang nimbento ng tao. Pero hindi ko lang alam kung ang baksin na yan, ang intensyon ng baksin na yan ay talagang magpagaling sa tao o mas lalong yumaman ang gumawa noon. Di natin alam. Could it give us life as Jesus is giving us life when we believe, when we return back to Him? Mag-isip-isip na tayo. Merong vaksin nga, pero mas marami ang affected. Europe is experiencing that third wave. And our country is experiencing more than the first experience that we have last year. 8,000 infected just yesterday report. Anong bisa ng vaccine? Sabihin natin, kasalanan kasi, yun naman na palagi. Kasalanan kasi, titigas ng ulo ng mga tao. Hindi sumusunod sa protocols. I think kulang. Kung hindi tayo marunong sumunod sa mga protocols sa yan, mas lalo nang hindi tayo marunong sumunod sa Diyos, sa utos ng Diyos. Dahil hindi natin nakikita. Kaya ito, sa palagay ko, mag-isip-isip tayo. We belong to this world. Yes, but God has sent us a Redeemer, Jesus Christ in order to remove us from the world created by man. To remove us from common duhat. <coughs> so my dear friends, as we are approaching the Holy Week, <coughs> mag tayo Anong mundo ang sinusunod natin? Mundo ng tao o mundo ng Diyos? Let us all stand. In faith, let us pray to the Father who through the sufferings of His Son has saved us from all condemnation. For every intention we say, Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, that God's people may succeed in spreading the good news of salvation to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, that a growing number of people may accept Jesus as their Savior, let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. That those who are earnestly searching for the truth may find Jesus, who is the light shining in the darkness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. That those who are suffering from pain, anxiety, fear, and loneliness may see the light of Christ shining over them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. For the bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Vignaport, let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. That perpetual light may shine upon the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. In silence, let us continue praying to one another. Let us pray, especially for those who are asking our prayers. Those in the ICU those in isolation areas, those victims of this COVID-19. We include our frontliners that they may continue to serve God through the service of His people. Father in heaven, source of all blessing, grant that the blood shed by your Son may gain an increasing number of adherence to the faith so that they may make his sacrifice fruitful for mankind. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray with your friends that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation that bring, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, 
and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and power symbol before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. As a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this us day our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not, not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I left you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its Father the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord.
Please stand. When you have lifted up the Son of Man, says the Lord, you will know that I am He. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of servant David. To His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath we saw to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on night shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you we have, have lifted the up the Son, Son of Man, man says, says the Lord, you, you will, will know, know that, that I am He. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach this heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of the Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m., and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and Mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or FB page Facebook.com, Minor Basilica Manawag, Official. Thank you. Please stand. Before I give the final blessing, I would like to thank each and every one for your presence, for your active participation and cooperation during this celebration. I would like also to acknowledge our online viewers in our Facebook and YouTube, as well as our radio listeners. Let us continue praying for one another and especially for those who are suffering right now of COVID-19 and for our frontliners. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head for a blessing. O God, who choose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you, grant that your faithful may weep as they should for the evil they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. In silence, please remember the names of your loved ones who are sick and need for this blessing. We will also bless your religious articles. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. To be kindly restore our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawal, 
so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, soil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.